Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. And I know some people, they get sick of listening to me say that over and over, but if you're new to the channel, that's who I am, that's the channel. Um, today we're gonna look at oil and natural gas. We're gonna look at the price performance on a one month basis to see what they're doing. Uh, we've had some pretty good performance uh, in this sector. Uh, it's done very well, it's been very resilient. We did have a pullback right before this one month for the most part. Uh, we pulled back. Some of them pulled back quite substantially. And, and sometimes people get scared uh, of the volatility. I don't. I kind of just ride through it. Uh, and and if you've been on the channel for a while, you probably have seen me say this a lot. I just hold. I mean, I don't. It, it, it's pretty boring. Uh, I, I buy things when they're cheap and then I just hold on. Do I uh, think that the continued outperformance in some of these will continue? I do. Uh, I think the ones that have performed very well in the beginning are still going to perform very well. I think some of the laggards are going to perform well too um, once they break through their resistances and through some of their chart patterns. Uh, so I'm kind of bullish on all of it. And and irrespective of what the month, one month says, uh, I own a lot of these companies. I think almost every single one I've owned that I'm sharing here. Uh, this is probably a pretty good representation of the overall sector. So Looking at this, if you guys are oiling natural gas bulls, um, it, it's probably going to be a good represent, representation of anything in the sector. So let's jump in. I'll give you my opinion uh, on the on the performance here. Uh, so looking at the upper left, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Uh, we've got Crew Energy, S SM Energy, Centennial Resources Development, Reconnaissance Energy, and Callum Petroleum. These are the ones that I consider to be some of the strongest performers in my portfolio. Um, some of these other ones on the right, they've been a little bit lagging, and I think they're going to continue to be strong performers in the near term uh, on the right-hand side. We have Birchcliff Energy, Advantage Energy, uh, Tetra Technologies, Transocean, and Tellurian. Uh, Tellurian is a liquefied natural gas uh, terminal. They're, they're going to be building it. I think it's called Driftwood, if I can remember. Um, that one could be a, a pretty good opportunity because... That's the old team uh, of, oh man, now I can't remember the name of the, the company, um, but Chenier. Chenier is the, the CEO of Chenier is going to be the one uh, building this in, in Tellurian. Uh, he's, he's on the board. And that one I think is going to do pretty well in the future. Uh, it is a more speculative play, but I own it uh, and I'm holding on to it. The best performers have been Crew Energy. Uh, SM Energy, Callan Petroleum. Uh, I do like Centennial Development Resource or Centennial Resource Development quite a bit. Birchcliff's done very well. Advantage Energy's done very well. Tellurian, uh, bringing up the the back. And the worst performer's been uh, Recaf uh, or Reconnaissance Energy. Uh, this is actually the one that when it on this pullback, I bought Centennial Resource Development and I bought Reconnaissance Energy Africa. Those are the two that I that I bought into. Looking at some other ones, uh, these are more natural gas based, some of them. Uh, we've got <clears throat> Antero Resources, Southwestern Energy, Sand Ridge Energy, Athabasca Oil Corp, uh, and Contango Oil and Gas. And these all have performed quite well. Uh, if you're around 20% and above in a month, you're doing very well. Uh, Grand Tier Energy, 31%. That's been an outperformer. Uh, Baytex Energy, 53.66. That's just below crew. Uh, energy that's done very well. Suncor Energy uh, and DXP Enterprises, just to throw in some others. Uh, notice that these lines aren't crossing too much. Uh, so the top performers are staying top performers. Uh, I can see that in almost every single one. Crew Energy kind of took off as it broke out. But uh, for the most part, Tellurian's doing pretty well too. I think that's going to do well. Uh, Grand Tier Energy, I think, is doing a little bit of a breakout, hopefully, and it can keep that momentum. We also have some. <clears throat> Some other companies here, Noble Corporation, Valeris, which is a, these are drilling companies, Oasis Petroleum, uh, I own that, Northern Oil and Gas I own, and Helix Energy Solutions. Uh, Valeris and Northern Oil and Gas have performed quite well over 20% this past month. Uh, so overall, if I were to choose uh, which ones are going to do well? I think recap, if we can break to the upside, if we break to the upside, if we break to the downside, that's going to be no good. But if we break to the upside, as this thing is coiling up, I think we could see a massive outperformance. 
Uh, so that's one that I've been watching like a hawk because I don't want it to break to the downside uh, for me. Uh, another one, I probably wouldn't chase crew. It's already kind of gone, so to speak. Uh, looking at these other ones. <clears throat> I would also choose maybe some of these energy service companies. Uh, overall, if you kind of look at the ETFs, the energy service companies have been kind of lagging behind a little bit. So I think that the energy service companies are probably the next next spot that's going to see a lot of money flows into it. Because uh, usually what happens is price of oil goes up. The exploration companies do very well. They, they kind of rock it first. Then the laggards are the energy service companies that come last. And sometimes they, they move quite well. So I would say the energy service companies is probably the ones that I would look at right now uh, and try finding some good deals there. That's, that's kind of where my head's at. Um, some of these other ones, they've had some pretty big runs. And usually when you have a big run, you don't want to chase it. You want to buy the stuff that's down still. But that's, that's my take on it. Uh, some people, they like chasing price. Uh, usually that doesn't work out for me very well, and I highly doubt it works out well for them. So when looking at these, <clears throat> I, would, I would be looking at maybe Helix Energy Solutions. Uh, look what that chart looks like. Uh, I do think Noble Corp and Valeris might be some good ones to look at. And those are probably where my head would be a Transocean and a Tetra Technologies would probably be other ones that I would look at uh, that are energy service companies. So if you guys like this content, you know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll give you these updates every once in a while. Give me the thumbs up. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.